Okay, sub-level 5 of the Glutton's Kitchen. You did not get to see the wonderful jumping down the hall animation because due to various Cannon Beetle related mishaps, this is not the first time I have attempted this. I'm not being overly cautious this run through. Alright, I still have all my purples. I lost three of my purples the first time and I forgot I destroyed that. Okay, yeah, this guy is quite annoying because I forgot these couldn't be stunned by purples. And as, as such are the hardest enemies in the game. But, okay, I thought that might have rolled over my... Ooh, purple candy pop. But yeah, I thought those might have rolled over to my O's, but it didn't. So anyway, I know I've said this in previous parts, but guys, what other Let's Plays would you like me to see? Because I have received a notable increase in amount of subscribers and comments and everything since starting up my Pikmin Let's Plays, and I kind of expected that, but I would like to retain this, so if you have any suggestions, tell me what kinds of games you want to see Let's Played, and I will do my best to Let's Play them. I have basically all the significant first-party titles for the um, GameCube and uh, Wii. Well, maybe not so much for the Wii, because I quit paying attention to the first-person titles since Brawl came out, but uh, yeah, I have a lot of video games. You can pretty much ask me whatever. I won't be annoyed if you ask me a bunch of dumb video games I've never heard of before. Basically, if it is um, uh, RPG, there's virtually no chance I have it. However, that is my one downfall. I was not good in the category of playing RPGs that were not Pokemon. And... The only Pokemon Let's Play I'm planning on doing at any point is Pokemon Snap, as that is not a long-winded RPG that would take a thousand billion parts and not really ever finish. That was close, but yeah, it's kind of hard to get those down without letting them spit anything out. So how much? Is okay, there's that weird television thing. Ah, uh, just would have been. I don't think that... No! Don't get to finish chewing. Okay, I think if we can get it here... Minimal problems. And I'll just kill the last stragglers here. And start taking the big ol' random electronics. This is probably why, in a part that did not survive, I mentioned I wanted to keep more than 50 Pikmin, because this is heavy. I wish I had the president over here, but... That's fine, I didn't need that many more Ultra Bitter Sprays. Sigh, I like Ultra Bitter Sprays. I had like 10,000 in Pikmin for my first run through of this. I need to quit thinking that everything else is a separate video game. I guess I could help out with these slow purples, fine. Okay, not helping out that much. But, um... Yeah, my regular run-through, I just sort of went really slowly and managed to get those weird glitch bugs to spawn in the Wistful Wild. Which give, like, 30 of every color spray, and that sort of kept me going for the rest of the game. Plus, I had a lot more patience as a kid and was willing to farm for, um a bunch more sprays than an impatient person that I am today would be willing to sit through. So I cannot imagine there's a third treasure on this sub-level, especially considering how bulky that one was. Sulking antenna. Why is it sulking? Because 7, 8, 9. Okay. This had better be the last treasure. Wacky party hat. Not even glued together. It was tape boom cone, whatever. Okay, so yes, I should probably, like, eventually work into talking about things besides the video game on Let's Play My Let's Plays, because that seems to be the thing to do with Let's Plays by interesting people, but this is the last level. But yeah, I seem to be drawing blanks a lot when... Yeah, there's a king of the breadbugs. 
It is pretty great. It is actually shaped like bread. It is unknown what evolutionary purpose this has. And I find it easiest and simplest to just um, let those guys take what they will, kill all the electrical hazards, and then pull out the purples and wait for lots of treasures to spawn when you actually get around to killing the red bugs. I like this, even though there are only two real red bug enemies. I was going to say there are other kinds of red bugs, but I'm pretty sure the other kinds of red bugs are dwarf ball borbs, and this only had dwarf ball bears and adult ball bears in this. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. I think they'll take the corpses of these anode beetles back too, but um, I they eat those instead of having them pop out like treasures. That'll be good to flower up any of my purples before. Yeah. I think this might have a set layout, because this is basically the same way it was my first run through. But anyway, the Dweevils have found a nice little... Er, Dweevils? What? The bread bugs have found a nice little home here. Um, a fixed amount of food. Some electric bugs. I don't really get it. Oh, and my sound is always like overridden by the wee dwee dwee and all the noise the captains are making, but I'm pretty sure this gets custom music for this sub-level. Anyway, you can do some stuff like this, and actually I might as well, considering I have purples. Poor guy. Yeah, I might as well be efficient. I, You know how much I hate being efficient if you've been watching these for a while, but... I'll take one for the team. I've certainly forced my Pikmin to do it more than a, a few times. And you can just let him go, but he's so easy to crush. He doesn't have long... Oh, everything but purples drops off of him. So if you don't have purples and you let everything else... I don't know, it might be possible if you're like really trying hard to make this uh, unbeatable sub-level or at least unbeatable treasures, because if you killed all the other bread bugs, let him eat them. I'm pretty sure they don't oppose cannibalism. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's running away from me. That figures. There should have been some out-of-bounds treasures, so you have to... You're forced to wait for them. Unfortunately, did not predict I was going to come right back out here and stomp it to death, assuming I can get a good angle on it. Which may be a faulty assumption. And, of course, due to its size, it can't be stunned by anything. It barely notices when a purple drops straight on its fat head. And that is that. And it was actually carrying it, one of those, and that's the only bread bug in this game that will drop something, I believe, because everything else just takes things back to their holes. Yep, it's a uh, eraser. Um, and it erases things, but since it's apparently a rubber eraser, and apparently that robot has a lot of extra spacesuits. Um, you get invincible to everything suits by this point if you've gotten the uh, fire immunity action figure from Emperor Ballbax. And if you were playing the game chronologically like a good little video gamer, that would be the case for you. Gonna be all confused by the cutscenes and like the whole heroes if you don't do all the ones in this first. It is very hard to hit these. Okay, I know what? I'm gonna let him take that. He surely wants it. Okay, he's just running away because he's terrified of me. I'll take some of these oversized food items that the I guess they're not oversized, they're just undersized Pikmin and everything else. Oh, you pick your comrade's corpse over 
uh, thing. I guess the thing doesn't look edible, but still very nice. We're running just about out of time, but I think we should be able to clear up this cave in the last minute. Maybe not. Dream material. Yeah, this does not conduct electricity. Poor guy. He did not invent rubber on his own. And that's the end of that bread bug. Did it eat anything? Yes, it did. Good for it. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm certainly running out of time. I'll probably just let these walk on back to the ship. If there's any hilarious names, I'll leave it there. But anyway, I'll see you in the next part, and we will try to find the mystery last treasure in the perplexing pool. Anyway, see you then.